Welcome to Uncle Connell's Queer History Corner and Coffee Clutch. Today's episode is on the tragic murder of Frida Ward by her lover, Alice Mitchell, 129 years ago this week. The Salt Lake Tribune of January 29, 1892 ran this scandalous headline on page 2. She wanted to marry her, the strange and fatal infatuation of two girls for each other. This article is referring to the horrific events that had unfolded in Memphis, Tennessee, six days earlier, when Alice Mitchell, 19, killed a 17-year-old Frida Ward by slashing her throat. The two young women had met in high school in Memphis, and they became fast friends, and then ultimately lovers. When Frida Ward's family moved several miles away from Memphis, their relationship became complicated, but they managed to see each other on occasion. Eventually, Alice asked Frida to marry her, but Frida turned her down, knowing how impossible that would be. Finally, Alice came up with the plan that she would start living as a man named Alvin, They would marry as husband and wife and move to St. Louis, Missouri, where Alice would work to support the couple. Frida happily accepted the proposal and they began to plan their marriage. However, Frida's older sister, Ada, learned of the plan by going through Frida's letters. She not only forbade Frida from seeing Alice again, but Ada also wrote a letter to Alice's mother revealing the couple's plans and demanding that the mother keep Alice away from Frida. The two grew despondent, but Frida seems to have moved on. Alice, however, grew more and more depressed each day. On January 23rd, when Frida was in Memphis visiting friends, Alice saw her and followed Frida back towards the steamboat docks. Alice, Freudianly, had brought her father's razor with her and pounced on the unsuspecting Frida, slashing her deeply in the face. Frida's other sister, Jo, began beating Alice with her umbrella, enraging Alice, who then slashed Jo's collarbone deeply, then grabbing the heavily bleeding and disoriented Frida. Alice slashed her throat. Frida survived only a few minutes. Alice was tried that summer and declared to be insane at the time of the murder. She was incarcerated in a hospital for the insane, where she died only five years later. The Sully Tribune, in its January article, reported, Alice Mitchell, the murderess of Frida Ward, talking with her cousin, says that she killed Frida because she loved her, and Frida refused to marry her. The girl seems perfectly rational and does not realize the enormity of her crime. She says that she asked Frida to marry her three times, and the murdered girl at last consented. Later, Frida returned the engagement ring, whereupon Alice was miserable. Quote, I could not bear to be separated from her, she said, and resolved to kill her, unquote. The letters she wrote to Frida are full of the most endearing terms, and go to show that the girl eagerly looked forward to to the time when she could make Frida her wife. Strange to say, from what can be learned, Frida herself seemed to be infatuated with Alice and willingly assented to the proposed marriage. The affair was an elopement. Articles like this, although not specifically referring to current terms then in use like sexual inversion, lesbianism, or even the relatively newly created word homosexuality, were used to create terror and panic among the LGBT community, keeping us deeply closeted, self-loathing, and unable to live authentic public lives. These reports were object lessons to our community. This too will happen to you if you dare act on your unnatural desires. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Uncle Connell's Queer History Corner and Coffee Clutch with coconut creamer, of course.